Let's talk about that login experience for Thrive Apprentice. This past week, I had the opportunity to meet with several of you on coaching calls, and the theme last week was the login experience and how do people log in and get access to my courses and how do I make that experience better? So I wanted to make a video that will help all of you make sure that you're creating the best login experience possible for your users. Let's start off by taking a look at what you shouldn't do, and this won't take long. What you shouldn't do is create a page, add a login form element to that page, and leave it so that the user can both register and log in. This should be changed to just a login form under the type of form on the left. Next, you should never just link to your login page in your navigation, yoursite.com slash login. Why? Well, because if somebody is logged in, this is what they're going to see. They're going to see this ugly, you are already logged in message. And no matter how you try to dress this up with a button that says, go to your content here, etc. This will never be a good experience. So we never want to directly link to this page, either in Thrive Apprentice, in our navigation or anywhere. So let me quickly show you a couple things that you should do or a couple ways that you should create the login experience. You can still create a normal login page just like this. But here's a couple things you need to do first. First, make sure that your form always redirects after successful submission. On the left hand side, go to submission actions instead of refresh page, change it to redirect to a custom URL or redirect to apprentice course index. Next in your menus under appearance menus, this is where we edit our WordPress menus. And I really do recommend you use this method of editing your menus rather than just doing it inside of Thrive Architect, because in my opinion, this is so much easier and I really love the control that you get here. So what you want to do is on the bottom, at least it's on the bottom on mine, it could be towards the middle in yours, but look for Thrive Apprentice account. Drop that down and we're looking for the login pipe log out. When you add this to your menu, here's mine right here, and you drop it down, you can see that it will always show login log out. Well, that's not going to show login log out. Let's take a look at how that looks on my site. If we look in the upper right hand corner, if you're logged in, it will show log out. If you're logged out, it will show log in. Simply put, if you're not logged in, it's going to take you to the login page. And once you are logged in, that link will change so that clicking on it doesn't take you back to the login page. It logs you out and sends you to wherever Thrive has set up your login redirect. Which takes us to our next point. Go to your Thrive dashboard, scroll down until you find User Access Manager. Click Manage Access. Go to Subscriber or select whatever user role you're using on your website. This will vary and then scroll down until you find WordPress login redirect. Choose custom, and I recommend that you choose the page that you want your users to be redirected to when they log in and to be safe when they log out. I recommend that you just simply make this your courses homepage, or if you're on a subdomain like I am, the member dashboard, or another place where they can safely be redirected without having an awful user experience. Another way of handling the login experience is to combine your login page with conditional display. I've made several videos on this on the channel, but I don't think it's sinking in. Using conditional display, we can still have a login form. We can still set this as our login page in Thrive Apprentice. We can still have our login button link here. However, the difference with this is that when a user logs in with conditional display, instead of redirecting the user to another page, say to our course home page or another page on your site, we're going to instead reload the page or link to itself. In this case, on my form after a successful login, I actually just link to the exact page that they're on. But using conditional display, you can see here in the bottom left under conditional display, I have two sections. I have the login form, which is what we're at, and I have the dashboard. Right now we're looking at the login form. When the user logs in, they would see the dashboard. Now if a user is logged in and they come back to this page, which they should because it's my member dashboard and not just a login page, then they're going to see the dashboard because they are logged in and conditional display has been set so that when the user is logged in, they see this section. That's really easy to do. You just go to the container, click on the little slide thingy, and here we have display content when the user is logged in. And it's that easy. If setting our login under default display, that's easy, it's the default display, so this will show when no other conditions apply. If showing it as another display state, click on the little slidey things, hide content when user is logged in, or display content when user is logged out. Both are perfectly acceptable. As you can see, it's super easy to control the login and logout experience in Thrive Apprentice, so you should have 
no worries and no issues at all with giving your users or your members, your students, the best experience that they can get. If you have any questions about Thrive Apprentice, feel free to leave a comment down below or check out some of my courses on Thrive Apprentice, and I'll see you in the next video.